Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm going to be talking about GPT-0. That's right, it's a new tool by Edward Tien, uh, computer science major. He's 22 years old, he came up with this. And why are we doing this? Simple. I want to show you how to use this tool to detect and protect against plagiarism, academic dishonesty, uh, especially when it comes to using ChatGPT. ChatGPT, as you can imagine, and as you probably know, is taking over the world, and GPT-0 is one way to protect against plagiarism. Let me show you how it works, and I'll show you how effective it is. So the first thing I want to do is I, I wrote, I asked ChatGPT to write a 3,000 word on Does Hamlet Love Ophelia? I just went and looked up Hamlet topics and here's one. Think about Hamlet's relationship with Ophelia. Does he love her? Whatever. Okay, good. Now, here's what it wrote. It wrote a big long thing, a uh, big long essay, pardon me. Uh, let's take the let's take the second part of the essay and let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste all of this right to here. And then I command C, copy paste. We're going to go to GPT-0. Let's get started. And it takes me down a little bit and where we want to do what we want to do is go to try it right here. And then it takes you to, I guess, uh, his cool little streamlit.app. <laughs> uh, Edward Tien, you're quite a brilliant man. And here it is, guys. Uh, I'm going to copy paste the text in. And what this tech does is it checks for perplexity and it checks for burstiness. And in particular, it gives you a probability that it was AI generated. So there we go. I've entered it. Now, in order to, in order to check it, you actually have to hold down the command and the enter key on a Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to let it do its thing. Here we go. And now it tells us what our text is inputted as. So if I just clicked on this, it has inputted it. And here we go. It's given us a perplexity of 13. And in particular, the lower the number, the lower the perplexity number, the more likely it is to be computer or chat GPT generated. So, so far, it looks like our perplexity is pretty low. So it's catching on to us. And here we go. Now let's take a look at the burstiness. The burstiness, let's see what they got to say. Okay, here we go. So your sentence with the highest perplexity, blah, blah, blah. Okay, get the result. This is what we want, right, guys? Okay, click on it. And here we go. It's going to give us a number, and then it's going to give us a probability. Okay, balloons. <laughs> so there you go. Here it goes. Your text is most likely to be AI generated. That's pretty damn good. It's given us a percentage of about like, looks like 90% or 95% AI generated. So this is what you can use if you're using this to do academic, you know, write articles uh, or write essays. I recommend you not do it. Just use ChatGPT to help come up with ideas and then write it yourself. Anyways, that's all, guys. Thanks for watching.